I hope you're doing great. Welcome to my next tutorial and let's get to it without any further ado. First we have this classic jungle break that sounds like this. I used only one bar of it, but later in the arrangement there are two places where I use the whole length of the original sample. As for the effects, uh, I used Redux just to make it a little bit uh, a bit more lo-fi and add some crunch to it, reverb to make it more spacious, and EQ8 to get rid of all the low frequencies and some highs without any effects. It sounds like this. By the way, I got this sample uh, from the great sample pack called Jungle Jungle. Look it up online, I'm pretty sure it's free. Uh, going back to our sample, in the process we lost a bit of this, uh, of this initial transient. So I added this sample. Brings back, uh, in, it brings back this original transient and uh, add a little bit more texture. And to sum up the intro part of the song, there is also this uh, hi-hat. It's fairly quiet, but it's, it adds to the groove. For the sound, uh, I use this uh, stock uh, Ableton drum rack called 707 Rack With You. Uh, I added a bit of delay, mm, not much, just 15%. Mm, EQ8 again to get rid of the low frequencies and utility at the end uh, to control to control the level, the level of this hi hat. And together they sound like this. And it's pretty much the intro for the for the whole track. Let's continue with the hi hats. After the intro is finished, we're using the same drum rack, but the different hi hat. In the intro, we use this one. Now we're using this one, and uh, it's uh, much much louder than in the intro part. But the rest of the the rest of the settings are the same. Then we have this second hi hat playing sixteen notes. What's different about this hi hat uh, is this flanger that uh, adds this uh, sort of metallic flavor to it uh, and give it some movement. And then later in the arrangement, we also have this open hat that sounds like this. Oops, sorry. So it's much louder, and this uh, it, it gives this uh, this drive to the track in certain parts of the arrangement. 
Next we have our kick that sounds like this. I use Thumb One to create it. One of my favorite plugins, if not the, if not my favorite plugin at the moment for creating kick drums. This patch and also the sample of this kick uh, will be in the project file. The download link is uh, down in the description. And uh, although it's a really nice, uh, clean and punchy kick, I think what makes it comes to life in this uh, in this case uh, is the out is the OTT. Let's hear it without it. It's a nice kick, but look what happens now. And together with the EQ8, uh, we take out everything under 30 Hz. We remove uh, the muddy frequencies at around 200. And it sounds so much cleaner and more powerful. As you can see in the moment, uh, most of the low energy in this track came from this kick, so it, it really needs to be heavy. The last percussive element in this track is this clap that sounds like this. I think uh, it's an Ableton stock sample, but any good uh, sounding uh, clap will do. And uh, as you can hear, there is a lot of reverb and this reverb, uh, this, reverb, this reverb comes from the return track. And uh, as you can see, most of the, most of the tracks uh, go into this uh, into this room reverb there is also eq8 to get rid of the low frequencies there's not uh, not much but uh, it's always good to remove it and uh, at the end there is k clip zero to shave off some peaks and give us a bit more headroom And all the percussive elements together sounds like this. And that's pretty much our main groove of the track. Next we have this mid-range bass that sounds like this. plays really simple pattern, only two notes, D and E flat. By the way, we are in the scale of G minor. And to create it, uh, I use this uh, instrument called Gem. It's a, it's a part of the bigger instrument uh, called Opal. There are four different uh, engines and uh, the Gem is the FM engine. You can make this sound uh, using operator, but I just don't like uh, to use operator. It al always seems counterintuitive for me. While jam, I, I really like and everything is uh, super intuitive uh, here for me uh, and easy and, uh, and fun to use. So I decided, uh, I decided to use it. Also, it sounds great. Originally, it's a much more, uh, much more deeper low bass sound like this. So it's this really, it, 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 this really deep bass. There are a lot of low frequencies, uh, but I didn't want uh, I didn't want to interfere with the with the sub bass from the kick. That's uh, why I filtered out everything uh, under 272 hertz. I also uh, add uh, echo to 
to give it a little bit of movement. Sounds like this. And uh, although it lives mostly in the, in the mid-range, together with our kick, it sounds like there is much more low frequencies that there actually are. But it also sounds very clean at the same time. And let's listen to it together with the rest of our percussive elements. And that, that create the main groove of the track. This mid-range bass uh, plays pretty much uh, throughout the whole track. In the, there one, one more thing. In the, in the intro, I filtered out some low frequencies uh, with auto filter, so it sounds a little bit different. Next we have our vocals. In this artist tracks, those loop trap vocals uh, are pretty typical element and generally it appears in a lot of modern hard groove techno tracks. I needed something like this, uh, so I took uh, those samples from the from the sample pack. I think it's called Ultimate Vocals. Unfortunately, it's not free. And uh, I found uh, I found something that fits really well. Originally, this sounded a little bit different. Let me show you. I want to see you shake it up, got bottles on deck, let's pull it up. Sexy bitch gonna toss it up, we gonna rock all night, not give it a fuck. I didn't like so much the, the original phrase, so I just uh, chopped it up and uh, rearranged. And I think it sounds a little bit less cheesy now and fits uh, and fits the track better. As for the processing, uh, there is not much. There is shifter uh, and I pitch it, pitched it down five semitones. But as you, as you can see, it's only 17%. So you can hear the original pitch of the vocal, but also a bit of a, a bit of the pitched down version that uh, creates this interesting effect. Without it, it sounds like this. I wanna see you shake it up, got bottles on deck, let's pull it up. I wanna see you shake it up, we gonna rock all night, not giving a fuck. I wanna see you shake it up, got so bottles on deck, let's pull it up. So it's a little bit flatter and less interesting. And here in this case, there is a little bit more 24 percent. So it sounds like we gonna get down. I wanna see you shake it up, got bottles on deck, let's pull. A bit lower, and it's uh, there's also this. Uh, yeah, in the second uh, part of this loop. I wanna see you shake it up. Got bottles on deck, let's pull it up. I wanna see you shake it up. You gonna rock all night, not give it a you, you see, it's pitched down even lower. Just to make it a bit more interesting. And let's listen, uh, let's listen to our vocals with the, with the rest of the track. I wanna see you shake it up. Got bottles on deck, let's pull it up. I wanna see you shake it up. We gonna rock all night, not give it a fuck. I wanna see you shake it up. Got bottles on deck, let's pull it up. I wanna see you shake it up. We gonna rock all night, not give it a fuck. I wanna see you shake it up. Got bottles on deck, let's pull it up. I wanna see you shake it up. We gonna rock all night, not give it a fuck. I wanna see you shake it up. Got bottles on deck, let's pull it up. I wanna see you shake it up. We gonna rock all night, not give it a fuck. I wanna see you shake it up. Got bottles on deck, let's pull it up. I wanna see you shake it up. Next we have our lead that sounds like this.
Again, very simple pattern. As you can see, mostly it repeats notes from this mid-range bass. So there is uh, there is D and E flat, but uh, also there is a G at the end. So to make it uh, to make it a bit different than this uh, mid-range melody, together together they sound like this. So as you can see the pattern is pretty similar, it's pretty much uh, follow the mid-range bass. To create this sound uh, I used this instrument uh, called DS Torn, mainly, mainly because I enjoy using it, but you can, you can use uh, any, other, any other instrument uh, and uh, experiment with the, with the leads, uh, lead sounds. I started with this patch called uh, Damage. Uh, as for the processing, uh, there is only there is only EQ8 to get rid of the low frequencies and utility to control the volume uh, because uh, Torn uh, Torn has really nice uh, built-in effects. So as as you can see, there is a distortion, delay, reverb and uh, EQ at the end. Uh, of course, uh, it also uh, it also goes to the to the return track with the room reverb. Yeah, that's pretty much it. There are a few parameters that are that are automated uh, throughout the throughout the track, and it's a filter cutoff. Uh, There is a filter, filter cutoff, uh, filter resonance, and oscillator position. Just to you know, makes uh, make the sound uh, move a bit, uh, and it's uh, it's not that uh, it's not that uh, stale. Like here, for example. Just use it in the arrangement too. To to lead us to the next part of the song. Next we have our second melody that sounds like this. Again, very simple pattern, three notes. F, G and D that plays over and over. As for the sounds, I use Surge XT for this. I started with this patch called Choning. Uh, I tweaked it a bit to my liking, but it's pretty much uh, as, it, as it was. I was looking for the sound uh, that it's not really overpowering. It's really just uh, reinforced uh, the first melody. Together, together they sound like this. There is only one parameter that is automated uh, and it's filter cutoff. As you can see, it's slightly, slightly changing throughout the tracks. And together with our first melodic element, this mid range, this mid range bass, it sounds like this. And together with the rest of our of our elements, it sounds like this. Mm -hmm. 
the processing of this sound I forgot to mention it there is only really EQ8 there are some internal effects uh, on the on the on the on the instrument itself in this case EQ and reverb and uh, I just uh, filters out uh, the low frequencies and uh, and the highest uh, and the highest frequencies so the the first melody cuts uh, cuts through the mix better okay so that was our second melody and it also was our last element of the track let me let me check yeah we went through all the elements so guys again uh, thank you thank you for watching if you find it useful or entertaining please uh, like like and subscribe see you in the next tutorial and let's listen to the fully arranged track Mechanism.
I wanna see you shake it up. Got bottles on deck, let's pull it up. I wanna see you shake it up. You gonna work all night, I give it up.